Hi, it's Megan. I hate saying bad things about products. And in fact, before I did kind of makeup videos, I did a lot of book reviews for publishers and I get a lot of uh, review copies and whatever else. And I've always, when I took the review copies, always said that if I don't like the product, the book, I probably won't finish it and I probably won't review it. And I have given up on a few books. Most of them I try to finish, but there have been books I just really didn't like and I didn't want to write a review because so much effort to write a book. So I feel the same way about cosmetics, but when I pay for it, I kind of feel like I should just go ahead and say what I think. So today, I know it was a long preamble, so today, today I'm talking about the Revlon Color Stay Moisture Stain. So I guess you can already tell that this is not my favorite product I've tried recently. This has supposedly the shine of a gloss, moisture of a balm, long wear of a stain, and the opaque coverage of a lipstick. It's got 12 different colors and they're kind of cool. They name them after locations, which is fun. So I got LA and I got New York. I actually got two others, which so I'm not going to open because they're all going back, including the two that I opened. I try not to return too many things opened, but once in a while I just dislike a product enough that I'm like, this is just not... And it's not just because I don't like the color I picked, it's because I just don't like the formula. So why did I not like these? So I had opened New York first, and I'll try that one in a minute. And I thought maybe I just got a bad one, or the color was too dark for me. It was blotchy. And this is it. It just was blotchy. It bled on my lips. And the color, quite frankly, wasn't flattering on me. It was just too dark. I should learn these kind of dark burgundy reds just sometimes work, and sometimes if they're too dark, they really don't. Um, so then I thought I would try Los Angeles. I live in Los Angeles, so I thought that's cool, I could get that. So this is Los Angeles, it comes like this. And I've also, I really like a lot of these hybrid formulas. Um, I love glosses, but they just don't wear. And so I'm always excited to try the new ones. This is a new one. I paid about $6.50 each with all the discounts I got at CVS. They um, were listed at like $9. So it's like this. Looks like this, you know, this typical kind of strange shaped applicator that a lot of them have with kind of a little depression in the middle. And it applies like this. So this is Los Angeles. And I'll swatch it right there. It's like a cotton candy carnation pink. And it's kind of um, semi opaque. Why don't I like it? It probably doesn't show on camera as much. It is so blotchy again in the application. I have like big globs of it and then I try to smooth it out and then it still starts bleeding and um, it just makes a mess, quite frankly, on me. Other people may have a totally different experience, but on me, I don't usually have a bleeding problem or a feathering problem with both these colors. I've had bleeding, feathering, blotchiness, um, not really my thing. It's kind of a thick formula. It's creamy. It does have gloss. It's not maybe as glossy as most lip glosses. It kind of reminds me most of the Dior Addict version of these kind of hybrid things and that it's kind of less, um, it's a little bit more stain-like and less gloss-like. Um, this one is less opaque than the other. It's a little bit more sheer, but where's about maybe... It does wear pretty well, actually. It wears about two and a half hours on me, which for a formula like this is really good. It wasn't particularly drying or moisturizing, and I got a little tiny bit of staining with the New York. I did not get any with this Los Angeles color. I do like the way the formula feels on. I just don't like... don't like them. So that was the first one. I'm going to apply the next one, and I just ripped my little thing here. This is the next color. It's like a deep rich red. I think this looks better on camera. Then off. I like reds. I'm not loving this one. It does have kind of like a, a blackish blue undertone to it, if you see. And it's more on the cool side. And um, 
This one lasted a good two and a half, three hours, but I did get bleeding on the top and on the sides. So, and then again, I got kind of the patchiness and the application. I had to keep like reapplying and reapplying and reapplying to get it even. And even then it would just kind of bleed and get patchy and, and whatever. Um, it's not like the elixir, which I really like, the Maybelline elixir, which I was hoping. Uh, it's also not, that's a little bit of a lighter formula. It's a little bit heavier. It's also not like a lot of the lip, liquid lipsticks, um, which I feel are also a little bit lighter. It's kind of a heavier feel on the lips. And it has a slight kind of a Maybelline scent, and, or Revlon scent. I was so disappointed because I tried some Revlon lipsticks and I just loved them. Kind of a chemically, chemically scent. Maybe a little floral chemically, but mostly chemicals. So I'm sorry, I just, opaque. I just, I just don't like them. I tried, I really tried. So the other two I'm not even going to open. I'm just going to take them back and just let some of They're now sealed. CVS is sealing things so they can see whether I've opened them or not. So... I can return them and someone else can get them and they can really like them. If you have these, would love to hear what you said. I have to say, am I right? Am I wrong? Did Revlon really knock it out of the ballpark and I just maybe got two bad colors? Um, thoughts? That's pretty much it. I like the Los Angeles color a lot. I just didn't like how blotchy it was on my lips. Um, please subscribe on YouTube. And then also I'm doing a novel on YouTube, chapter by chapter, called Masks, which is about makeup and the masks we wear. And I think that is it. And you can see, very opaque coverage, very nice color. It looks pretty, it's glossy, it just doesn't wear well. Thanks.